Hello everyone, my name is Jason. Hi blog, welcome to my guys. Today I will be doing a film analysis on Inside Man. There, I'll put the picture right there. So, a brief intro for Inside Man. The director was Spike Lee and I will also put a picture there. And the story is written out by Russell Gurwitz. The main character there are four main characters in this movie. They are Denzel Washington as Detective Keith Fraser, Cliff Owen as Dalton Russell, Jodie Foster as Madeline White, and last but not least, Christopher Plummer as Arthur Cage. The duration of this movie is two hours and nine minutes. The genre of this movie is crime, drama, and mystery. This movie also can be found in Netflix or any website. This movie is actually a bank heist movie. The movie started with the anthologist, which is Dalton Russell. He started talking to the camera and narrate the story to the audience. He told the audience that he will be executing a perfect bank heist. Later on, the temporal, temporal duration is applied and it transitions into the crime scene, which is the bank at Wall Street. Dalton and his crew went into the bank as a paid worker, so nobody could find out. The environment is then shown to the audience by using a zoom out shot, so the audience can get a clearer view of the entire bank. Dalton and his crew then took out his guns and threatened all the people in the bank. The bank was in chaos and everyone was in fear. Soon, a patrol officer outside found out what happened in the bank and he started to call for backups. Inside the bank, Dalton ordered all the hostages to wear black jumpsuits. Dalton intended to disguise themselves into the bunch of hostages wearing black jumpsuits so that the police have a hard time finding out who are the real criminals. Police had to call in the negotiator, which is the protagonist of this movie, Detective Keith Fraser. Flash forwards were widely used in this movie to help narrate the movie. All the flash forwards were set inside an interrogation room with Detective Fraser and his partner interrogating the hostages who managed to escape from the bank. Dolly shot was used in a scene where Detective Fraser was angry because Dalton killed a hostage when he promised Detective Fraser not to kill anyone in the heist. The shot focused on Dalton's expression, showing him anger and rage. Segmentation is used to introduce the another two characters of this movie, which is Miss Madeline White and Mr. Arthur Cage. Mr. Arthur Cage is the owner of the bank and he hired Miss Madeline White to help him retrieve something important inside the vault of the bank. The climax of this movie was when Dalton decided to release all the hostages through the main exit. The police had no idea who the real mastermind are. They started shooting and arrested all of them. The police then rushed into the bank and couldn't find any trace of the mastermind of this heist. Later, the case was forced to be closed. The scene then transitioned back to the scene where Dalton was talking to the camera. Dalton then spilled the beans and said that he was hiding behind the wall of the bank for a week. After a week, Dalton walked out of the bank like a normal person. No one know he was the mastermind behind of this heist. The ending of this movie is using unity because all the mysteries were solved and explained so that the audience know what happened in the end and not leave a cliffhanger in this movie. That is all from me. Thanks for watching um, my first film analysis and this is my first time talking to the camera. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget like, comment and subscribe.